Today on Comic Talk Quick Talk, we're quickly talking about Star Wars The Force Awakens, and then we're showing off our first ever comic collection submission, sent in by Ben Wells from Blackstone Cherry. Let's do it! So guys, in the last episode, we went over our biggest theories on who Rey is and how she fits into the Star Wars mythos altogether. Today, since we have our first ever comic collection submission, I'm gonna keep it quick because this collection submission is absolutely worth the time. I'll just say this about it, two foot tall ATAT walker. Let's talk real fast about how JJ succeeded at making this movie feel like it was a true classic. And I mean, it literally looked and felt like a part of the original trilogy. First of all, and this is the most important part, he shot almost completely practical. So if it looks like it was physically there, then it absolutely was. Guys, he literally built a full scale Millennium Falcon. JJ's big thing about this entire movie was going backwards to move forward. So that means shooting with physical models as much as possible because the old films did it, as well as adding that special flair from ILM's CG magic, since they practically invented modern cinema and its use of CGI and animation. Also, a ton of people have been frustrated with the fact that the movie seems like a direct copy of A New Hope, but it's an approach that absolutely made this movie fit in even more than the prequels ever could. It puts fans in a place where they feel like it's something familiar, so it's much easier to slip back into that world and actually believe in it. But also, as I said in the Ray Kenobi speculation video, I think having this next trilogy tie off the arc between Kenobi and Skywalker would be the smartest move possible, and it would really allow a fresh addition of characters and stories to be introduced to the next generation of Star Wars fans. I think that Rogue One is Disney's dip into what the future of the Star Wars franchise will look like, having that disconnect from characters that we know and love. So once this JJ trilogy is over, I think all the old beloved characters will be pushed out and a completely new cast will be ushered in for the new era. I really think despite the criticism Rogue One has gotten at its screenings, Disney will succeed with this plan. I mean, all the actors that would have to play their respective roles can't be in it forever. And some of them, don't even want to be. But let's be honest, we have those movies about those characters and we will always have them unless they make a new digital redux version. Let's pray that doesn't happen. So nerdites, let's set our nerd rage aside and see what we can be presented with. As long as they stay true to the tone of the Star Wars that we know and love, they will succeed. All right guys, now let's get into this submission. This one comes from my friend Ben Wells, Blackstone Cherry Guitar Shredder Extraordinaire. I am incredibly excited to show this one to you guys. It has been one of the greatest Star Wars collections I've seen in so long. Most of which he doesn't even have out. I mean, check this out. My name is Ben Wells. I play in the band Blackstone Cherry. I'm gonna do a quick little rundown of all my Star Wars stuff. I'm an avid Star Wars toy collector. Anything Star Wars, I collect it. Um, I love all kinds of vintage toys, but I'm here because my buddy Nick asked me to uh, show you some of my stuff. So we'll do a quick little skim through of just part of the collection. I, I, it's impossible for me to show you everything just because, number one, some of it's I don't want to show you. I'm kidding. And uh, no, honestly, it's just because I have so much. Um, it would take forever. And I've just accumulated stuff over the years, but I'll show you some stuff I have on display. So starting out, we have this, which is an AT-AT Walker vintage. Uh, several assorted vintage figures and that I have on stands here. Um, I really got into the Black Series. I love what the, they did with the Black Series stuff. And as you can see, I have several different ones of that. I love Empire Strikes Back. That's my favorite Star Wars movie. And I love the whole Wampa scene, even though it was short. This is a vintage Wampa. This is obviously Black Series. This is a cool piece. This is a Black Series Rancor, which uh, I, it's one of my favorite pieces, I think, probably. And I love the Rancor. This is a vintage Rancor from 83, a 90s Rancor in the box there. More assorted vintage figures. Um, this is a vintage TIE Interceptor here. Down here, um, we're getting into some 90s stuff, which is when I was a, a kid and when I first started getting into the Star Wars toys. These Jawas are cool. Their eyes actually light up and this is a Vintage Series Sandcrawler, still in the box there, which is pretty sweet. Giant R2, C-3PO toy holding case, Giant Darth Vader. It's a Vintage X-Wing, a new X-Wing from Force Awakens. Some more Black Series stuff. Uh, this is some 90s Power of the Force stuff still in the box. That's obviously Vintage. That's a Vintage Jabba on his throne. Uh, ATST Walker, which is Vintage. Boba Fett Elite Series, which is something new Disney's doing. Um, these are some... Uh, that's a vintage Bantha there. Um, these are Disney boxes that they came out with, special editions. All kinds of 12-inch figures in the back there, which is pretty sweet. And then all kinds of different Black Series. 
And then more carded figures in the back there. And then a bunch of carded figures here from Power of the Force, the 90s stuff. I love TIE Fighters. This is a 90s. This is a vintage. That's a Force Awakens. This is a vintage. And this is a vintage snow speeder here. Um, I think TIE Fighters are awesome. This is cool. This is about a two and a half foot tall ATAT. -AT. You gotta have that. And uh, I got this at a great toy store in Texas, so it's pretty awesome. Ewok Village, some troopers, gotta have it. This is something cool I just got the other day. Uh, an original Empire Strikes Back hat. I uh, love that. I got this at a vintage store in West Virginia. And this is cool too. This is from the UK. A special edition helmet series they were doing. I got Boba Fett. I got that while I was on tour over there. Um, you gotta have a little BB-8 there too. Like I said, I wish I could, uh, Millennium Falcon hanging out up here. I wish I could show you absolute, all of my collection, but I just don't have the time and half the stuff's not even up. It's still just, I gotta find spots for it. But, uh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check it out. Uh, you can never have too many toys. Don't ever grow up. I love it. Ben Wells, you, sir, absolutely love Star Wars. I mean, if I had a two foot tall ATAT -AT walker, or really any of that awesomeness, I honestly don't know what I'd do. You, sir, could open up a museum. All right, Nerdites, that's gonna be it for us today. I wanna say a huge, absolutely massive thanks to Ben Wells for sharing his amazing collection with us. Guys, Blackstone Cherry actually has a new album called Kentucky, which is out now. You can pick it up at your local music store or scoop it up on iTunes. Also, you can click on the image down below or follow the direct link down in the description. Also, guys, keep sending in your submissions. Take this sub as an example and let's see what you guys have. You can either post your video or pictures on any of our social media sites with the hashtag Comic Talk Collector or direct message us on Facebook. As always, our links are in the down there. Till next time, nerdites, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and support. Keep your motivators in check.